How's it going everyone? My name is BQ and I am going to show you my shots and videos and little clips that I did when I went to the Renaissance Fair. If I went. I was planning on going to the Renaissance Fair and there was actually also Free Comic Book Day which I know I've covered doing that a couple times on this channel. I was up till 4 in the morning the previous night or the same day as the Renaissance Day and Free Comic Book Day. So, I was really tired. I was supposed to meet a friend at 8.30 uh, in the next town over to meet him at his apartment, but I can't really do that if I stay up at 4 in the morning. I had a sleeping hangover, which is what I call when uh, you are just so tired that the next day you just feel like crap. I get them a lot uh, if I just stay up past what my normal sleep schedule is. I'm more of a morning person, don't do too well at staying up late at night, so I tend to get a lot of sleeping hangovers when I hang out with friends and we talk about video games and stuff like that till 4 in the morning. So for today, I'm going to browse through YouTube's renaissance fairs uh, of videos that other people have made. It's kind of stealing content a little bit. So the first thing I searched up was Iowa Renaissance Fair. 2019 and already mm, there is nothing maybe iowa just sucks at creating content which i'm not too surprised about but the one that i usually go to is i guess technically the nebraska renaissance fair since i live on the border of uh, nebraska and iowa so first off let me just say i absolutely hate when people go to renaissance fairs and they cosplay uh characters that aren't technically renaissance characters it's a renaissance fair sure there are pirates and stuff like that but this person's clearly captain jack sparrow then if you're cosplaying that try to fit the confines about that which brings me to another point uh anime conventions that i go to um now that uh superheroes are a big thing you see uh american like you see captain america cosplayers at a anime convention which is which is traditionally just a japanese convention so it's a weird melding that now the it's more of a pop culture convention i don't know i feel that it's still uh, this, the rule still applies that you should probably dress up as Japanese video game and, or anime stuff at uh, these uh, uh, conventions. But at this point, I feel like I don't care. Oh, see, here we got another one. As you can clearly see, the woman to the second to the left, that's clearly female Loki. Which, yes, Asgard is technically, you know, renaissance era. I'm not a huge fan of that uh, crossover. At the, at the end of the day, though, you can do whatever you want. Wow, this one's 11 years old. Oh my God. Let's poke into this one. 2007. Oh God, that's super loud. Look at that sidewalk. That's not, look at that camera. That's not immersive. Where's my immersion? My immersion. Wow, look at this, uh, look at this pit. Look at this jousting pit. There is nothing to the imagination here. There are actually some uh, uh, clips from uh, recent years. Um, like this one was a year ago exactly. Let me try to find... Okay, here, here's... Um, uh, is this a news? Oh no, it's drone footage. But anyways, I went to this Renaissance Fair uh, last year. It was neat. I remember walking down uh, this alleyway. Let's see if I can uh, spot uh, me in here. I doubt it. Because uh, I don't remember seeing any uh, drones. And I... Kind of came in the lit. There's cars! My immersion! The kind of first cosplayer I saw walking into this Renaissance Fair was uh, a, a kid that was dressed up as Kirito from Sword Art Online uh, Z Anime. Oh, look at that. That guy sees it. That guy's saluting to uh, America. Oh, so this little stand last year, uh, at least when I went there, um, they had a, a performance. They had like a fire breather. That was pretty cool. And I gotta give it props to the staff workers that stay in character. Um, it, it's really cool. And uh, they do a really good job trying to immerse um, the uh, people uh, that go to these things. So this is the um, uh, jousting area that uh, we went to. I think our dude won. And uh, the group that I was going with, uh, one of the... Um, one of my friends' wives, uh, the guy that won, kind of talked to us and hung out with us afterwards. He was hard hitting on my friend's um, wife. So we were sitting um, right in these stands, right back here. 
Uh, that's where we were sitting. I don't see us there. We spent a lot of time in this area, though. Um, just hanging out with that guy. Uh, also, there's uh, a spot that, uh, a competition for, like, uh, how long can you hold, like, a beer up? Like, straight arm hold uh, a beer out. Uh, and, um, if you, uh, won, uh, it was like, uh, it, they just called up a bunch of people and said, um, whoever holds uh, theirs out longest without putting their arm down, uh, their beer was free. Um, I, I believe the friend whose wife got hit on by the jouster won that, if I, if I recall. I'll have to ask him about that. I, I'm gonna see him tomorrow. Oh, yeah, and, uh, this shop, uh, right, this, uh, tall one back here. I'm not sure if we'll get a, a good shot of that, but this one right here. Why the hell? Wait a minute. Why the hell am I? I'm so sorry. I'm not sure why I wasn't uh, full screening this, uh, even though it's not better quality. But this shop right back here, it had um, uh, comic book weapons for sale. Like they had Thor's hammer and my friend bought Thor's hammer uh, at this little uh, shop back here. And <sighs> my immersion. Oh, wait a minute. I think... I'm not sure if I know this girl here. I think if it's the girl I'm thinking of, um, she, it kind of looks like her, but I, uh, th it's the girl that um, I've done a theater with, and she's a professional cosplayer and everything, and she goes to these uh, every year as a staff member. That might have been her. These festivals are very fun to go uh, hang out and just let loose and see everybody just kind of enjoy the atmosphere. Um, another thing that I just love about conventions and these types of, um, I guess you can call them, uh, maybe nerd events, maybe? The people that, uh, for layman's terms, don't necessarily do well in modern so social situations, this is like a few times during the year where they can just be themselves, and I really appreciate that, I think that's awesome, um, just, you know, some of these people are just kind of the, <laughs> look at these people were acting like, what ho? What source of magic is, <laughs> look at that guy. <laughs> I gotta watch that again. Oh, there's a queen, <laughs> he's like, what ho? What is that? <laughs> yeah, that, that's when the, the staff like stays in character. That That's awesome to see. <laughs> that was um, last year's Renaissance Fair. So I kind of regret not going to the renaissance fair and not going to free comic book day because uh i had some cool uh cool group of friends that were going and i, and I wanted to go in all honesty i really wanted to go it, it's a cool time if i don't get uh, a good amount of sleep then i will just crash and just like collapse and just go to sleep <laughs> i'm not sure if anyone uh recorded any footage uh, uh from this year i haven't seen anything from this year um oh yeah that, i, I would have been the first person to uh put up content for the 2019 uh, Nebraska Renaissance Fair. Next year. I'll get I'll, I'll get it next year. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that'll be it for me. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later. See you later. See you later. See you later.